Namaste, it's Dini here from Yoga Mayor School. Thank you for joining to this short session. It's going to be a 10 minute morning practice just to awaken in the whole body. If you are ready, just please find your comfortable cross-legged pose. Close your eyes for a second. And even if you have only 10 minutes or, or just 5 minutes, Never forget to bring your mind, breath, and body into the same line, just to align these three things together. Close your eyes again. Take a nice long deep breath in. And then with an exhale, just roll your shoulders back and downward. Bring your palms together. We're going to chant one nice OM. Inhale. Oh. Slowly open your eyes and with an inhale, raise your arms towards the side and then upward, inhale and then exhale down. Inhale, raise your arms again up, exhale, right hand down and then just slowly feel the nice stretching on the left side body. If you want, you can also place the forearm and just breathe in, breathe out. Two nice breaths more. You can watch up or you can just keep your neck nice and neutral, whatever is good for you. But in this morning, inhale, slowly come back to the center, lengthening, and then exhale, left hand on the left side of your body. If it's possible, your forearms, thumbs down, Feel this beautiful opening on the right side of your body. You can watch up or down. Take one more nice deep breath, lengthening, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale, slowly come up. Try to stretch out your body as much as you can. And then with an exhale, place your hands down. I'm going to turn over this side. And come into your nice tabletop position, Majariyasana, just to awaken a little bit more your spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, slowly towards your navel gaze. One more, breathe in. And then exhale, slowly extend your right leg behind. Just grab your right foot and with an inhale again, feel now the whole right body stretching. Don't lose your neck. Keep your head nice and align your neck with the rest of your body. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, place it down. One more time, inhale, raise it up. Exhale, place down. One more time, inhale. And exhale, knee and the hand. Now just switch your side. Inhale, feel this nice stretching on the left side of your body. And try to be aware of the position of your right foot. So the arch of your right foot is coming up from the yoga mat, inversion of your right ankle. And then inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale, place the knees, chest, chin, slowly come into your plank, engage your core, move a little bit forward and backward, inhale and exhale, and then slowly place your knees, your chest and chin to the yoga mat, into your Ashtanga Namaskaram. Be aware that you are engaging the core, so don't allow the lower back to move to arch too much. And from here, inhale, come into your cobra. Exhale, place down. Inhale, open your legs, bring your feet apart, and just turn to the twisted Triyaka Bhujangasana. Inhale and exhale back to the mat. Inhale and exhale when you're twisting to the left side. Breathe in, come back to the center. Breathe out, place it down. One more time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist the spine. 
Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, place the head down. Last time, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, twist to the left. Breathe in. And breathe out, tummy, chest and chin to the mat. Bring your feet together. And then with an exhale, slowly come into your tabletop. Tuck your toes and come up into your Parvatasana. So the Parvatasana is a little bit different from the Adho Mukha. Parvatasana, we keep the feet together. Lengthening your spine, try to place the chin to the chest. Strong fingers on the yoga mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Then slowly with an inhale, step forward with your right foot. Open your heart, show your love to the universe in this beautiful morning. Interlace your fingers behind and just slowly open a little more your chest up. Inhale and exhale, bring the palms together and slowly your left elbow comes to the right knee with an inhale open your chest if it's possible if you want then you can lift the back knee up from the mat but you can also keep it on the mat whatever is good for your body inhale open your heart again exhale place the palms down and step back into your nice plan place your knees chest chin at the same moment to the yoga mat Inhale, raise your chest up. Exhale, tuck the toes and come back into your Parvat Asana again. Feel the nice stretching in your calf muscles. Try to sink your heels down, but if they are not going down to the mat today, that's also fine. Breathe in and step forward with your left foot between the palms. Inhale, open your heart. Just stay here. Just allow the sunshine come into your heart. And then with an inhale, you're going to interlace the fingers behind. And again, just opening a little more. One more exhale. Your right elbow comes to the left knee. And with an inhale, you can lift the back. In this time, the right knee up from the mat, but you can also stay with the knee on the mat. Feel the nice twist on the spine. Inhale, open your heart. Try to touch with your fingertips the yoga mat. And then exhale, place the hands down. Back to the plank. This time, we're going to turn to the left foot outer edge and open your plank. Exhale, place the right hand and turn to the right foot outer edge. Open your plan. Exhale, place the palms down, knees to chin at the same moment. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, come back into your Parvatasana. With an inhale, we're going to step forward with the right foot again. Open your heart. And with an exhale, place the left hand just in the same line as your right foot. Bend this left knee and try to grab your left ankle. Bring the heel, the left heel close to the left sit bone. And just stay here. If you feel, then you can also open your chest. Having a little twist for your spine. Breathe in. And breathe out. With an inhale, come back to the Ashvashan Chalanasana as we call this beautiful posture. Feel the nice opening on your pelvis area. Exhale, place the hands down and step back into your plank again. We're going to open the plank one more time. Raise your right leg up and try to grab the right big toe. Breathe in. And breathe out. Exhale, place the palms down and just turn to the outer edge of your right foot. And this time let's try to grab this left big toe. Sometimes we're falling, but that's also totally fine. It's just another opportunity to try it, to do it better. 
Exhale, place the hands down. Knees, chest, chin on the yoga mat. Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, come into your Cobra Bhutangasana. And exhale, slowly back to your Parvatasana. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, slowly place your knees back to the yoga mat. And then with an inhale, raise your right arm and the left leg behind. Grab your left ankle with the right. And just stay here, feel the nice balance. Breathe in, breathe out. And then with an exhale, again release with the inhale, stretch it out. And then slowly place down, we're going to switch. Inhale. And then with the next exhale, just grab the ankle from the part. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Release the stretch it out. Exhale slowly. Place the hands down. Cross your ankles. And then slowly just sit back into your Navasana. No any class, no any day can pass without this beautiful posture. Grab the opposite big toe with the hand and just open it to the side. Feel the twist in your spine. Now this is my right big toe that I'm grabbing with the left hand. So be aware of the left heel is not placed on the mat, it is on and then just try to look towards your right thumb. Exhale, come back to the center. And then just do the same to the other side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, place the back down. If you see in your practice, slowly come into your, or into your Viparita Karani. Or if it's in your practice, you slowly come into your Sarvangasana. Free breath here. Two. And the last one. Exhale slowly, please the toes. Just behind the body, interlace your fingers, breathe in, breathe out. Free breath here as well. Two. And the last. Inhale slowly, raise your legs up. Exhale, vertebra by vertebra. Just place the back down, keep the Knees nice and straight. And then with an exhale, bend your knees. Now, if you are familiar with the Chakrasana or Urvadanurasana, the wheel, you can do that. Or you can just come into your bridge. But from here, if you want to try, place the hands down and just lift the body up. Arch as much as it's comfortable. Don't forget about your core muscles. Save your lower back, engaging the core. Just one more breath. And then exhale, slowly come back down. Just nicely hug your knees. Move a little bit up and down, up and down. And then slowly place the feet down to the mat. Both knees come to the right side of the body. And just stay here. Breathing. And breathe out. Now see if you want to have a little more stretching. Then this left knee is remaining on the mat. And just try to grab your right big toe with your left hand behind. In this way you have a little more twist. Try to watch towards the left shoulder. Inhale through the belly. This is already the ending part of this short class. 
and exhale out. One more nice deep belly breathing in and out. Very slowly come back to the center and then just switch the side. So now the both knees goes to the left side. Again, if you like to have a little deeper stretching and twist, then please grab the bottom leg and just stay here breathing in through the belly and breathing out through the belly. And just allow your body to relaxing now. This 10 minutes is always much more than doing nothing. And I think 10 minutes we always can find. So just practice at least 10 minutes to the day and then slowly, slowly, you will see the change, the change in the body and the mind. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Again, just bring your knees close to the chest, lift the head up, give a nice kiss to your knees, nice knees, good knees. And then slowly, slowly with an inhale, extend your legs, your head and heels and arms up from the mat. And then very slowly, just lay down. Again, only at least three breaths here. Feel that your tummy, the ribs and the chest are expand. And then exhale, feel that first your tummy goes back to the spine, the ribs to the midline. And the last is your chest relaxing. Again, breathing deep. Breathe out through your belly. One more last time. Inhale. And exhale. Now, if you have time, you can stay a little more in this nice supine pose. Otherwise, just slowly turn to the right side of your body. Give a little head by the left arm and slowly your head coming up for last and come back into an any comfortable cross-legged pose. Hope you enjoy this short practice and don't forget yoga is not only on the yoga mat, but it's only it's during the whole day, long day can go. So it's not only when you are practicing that we call yoga. Yoga is about how to live your life, how to manage your thoughts, and how to manage your life in general. That's the real science of yoga. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Have a very nice day. Hari Om.